Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I'd like to share another tip, quite an important one. Uh, a leak through the windshield into the engine compartment can be very serious. And I've read online of this happening to several people where they've lost their engines entirely. The engines just could not be fixed because it had rusted so much. This is a known problem with the Fiat Ducato, but whatever van you drive, it's worthwhile you checking. I was surprised to observe for myself just how much water flows down every time it rains. All of this water needs to be channeled out safely and made sure not to enter the engine compartment. So if even a little bit enters the engine block, it's going to eventually rust out your engine. So after it rained, I opened up my bonnet to have a look and I was a little bit disappointed to see that there was water in the engine compartment. And I then lifted out the black plastic shield over the engine block. It's not so hard to do, just pull it up hard. There are three pins holding it in place. I was quite disappointed to see my six-year-old Ducato engine block was actually quite rusty. So what I did was I sprayed it liberally with WD-40 all over every part of the engine compartment because it acts as a water repellent layer and it is also a good rust inhibitor. And this is something I'm going to do at the start of every winter going forwards. So I've drenched everything with WD-40, every part of it. It's a film of oil, a water repellent film. So next up, I checked to see if there was a leak at the base of the windscreen by pressing my finger down against the black seal. I noticed there was lots of movement and I could see little holes and I could tell that water was leaking through. So fixing that wasn't too difficult at all. I got myself a good quality silicon gel and um, spread it liberally from left to right in a thick bead. And then I used a gloved finger dipped in some turpentine and press it in. And quite quickly, I was able to see for myself by testing, by pressing down on the seal again, that it was solid this time and uh, not likely to leak. I opened the bonnet again, and I was pleased to see that the amount of water was very, very little. There were just one or two drops, this time not coming from the leaks around the windscreen seal but just one or two drops from this rubber tube uh, this rock where it connects to the funnel so a little bit more silicon gel should sort that out very well so I do hope that this video has been helpful for you please don't forget to click like and to sign into Google and subscribe for more videos like this because it helps the channel and it helps our, us um, fellow motorhomers out on the road. So thanks for joining me and I'll catch you again next time.